Hello everybody, I'm Gary Cutlack for Tech Digest Live. That's the official new hand signal. Um, and today I'm working from the beach, thanks to the uh, Vodafone USB modem adapter. Um, but I'm, I'm doing some proper scientific research uh, from the beach as well today. Um, I'm going to test out some laptops. Uh, everyone, all, all, all the laptop companies say they're making these fantastic new laptops with uh, clever screens that allow you to work outside. But can you? Do they actually work? Or is it just a lie so that laptop companies can charge you an extra couple of hundred quid for their stupid laptops? Well, let's find out, shall we? Um, I've got two laptops here with me. My very old but very faithful Samsung Q30. Now it has no no advanced screen technology in it whatsoever. Um, if you've got the curtains open you can't you can't use it. Now, I don't expect it to work on the beach very well at all. But at the other end of the scale I have acquired a uh, Toshiba Portage R500. Now that's that has a lot of uh, very new and exciting screen technology so I'm hoping that will work a little bit better on the beach. So, let's do an exciting head-to-head -head test. Right, well, here we are. Um, I've got two laptops on the beach and it's, uh, it's raining. This is really quite a bad idea, especially as that's my laptop. I don't care if that one gets rained on because that's not mine. But that one's mine and it's getting rained on, so I'm not particularly happy about this. Um, but anyway, there it is, the, the Q30 with its old LCD backlit technology turned up to full brightness. Now I've got a picture here of uh, pop star Cheryl Tweedy that I'm going to open. There she is, there's Cheryl, looking as dazzling as ever on the on the screen. I think considering considering we're in the uh, in the outside, that's uh, that's quite a good picture. I mean, I could. Uh, I can make out a lot of detail on Cheryl there. You can see her eyes and her ears and her hair and her mouth and her shoulders and her hands and her, and her little belly. I think that's, uh, that's turned out quite well. Now uh, over here, the R500 with its fancy screen. Let's have a look at Cheryl on the R500. Oh, that's, yeah, that's good. That's very bright. I think, uh, I think that's probably the brighter Cheryl on the R500. Certainly less reflection coming off the screen. I like that. Well done R500. The R500 also has this button, which I'm going to dramatically press now. Now that's, that's turned off the backlight, so there's now no energy being drawn by that screen whatsoever. And um, even, in, even in these fairly poor lighting conditions, you can... Uh, get quite a good look at what's going on. Um, so yeah, that, that's kind of the, 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 the idea of this test really, was to see whether that works and, uh, and it does. Um, over here, let's try turning off the backlight on my rain soaked, my rain soaked laptop. And look at that, well, all you can see now is a ugly man um, with ice cream on his shirt. Uh, reflecting back off your, uh, from the uh, rain-soaked screen. So there you go. That's uh, reflective technology in the outside world, and that's non-reflective technology in the outside world. I think... Hang on. I think that's turned out really well. Well done, Toshiba. I'm going to go inside now and wipe the rain off my laptop and put on some dry clothes. This was a fairly bad idea for a video. I'm sorry about that. Well, there you go. Um, Anti-glare screen technology actually works quite well. Who'd have thought it? I'm certainly glad I did this little video.